We have a network topology. We have switch one, switch two, router one, switch three, and seven end devices, seven PCs. The idea is to make sure that you understand what a source and destination IP and MAC address is. I'll show you what I mean. Here is the first question. PC1 wants to send a message to PC4. PC1 wants to send a message to PC4. You have to figure out what the source and destination MAC address is, what the source and destination IP address is. You ready? Okay, let's start with IP addresses. What is the source IP address? Source IP address is PC1. Destination IP address is PC4. That's easy. What do you want from me? Well, stay with me. What is the source and destination MAC address? Well, it's easy. PC1 will send an ARP message and figure out what the MAC address of PC4 is, right? Source, destination, MAC address is just PC1 and PC4. No tricky questions here, no tricky answers here. Now let's try this. PC1 wants to send a message to PC6. PC1, PC6. Let's start with source and destination IP addresses. What will be the source IP address? Well, that's PC1. What will be the destination IP address? Well, again, PC6, what do you want from me? Okay, now what will be the source and destination MAC address? I will ask you to focus here and think about this one twice. Source MAC address, PC1. What will be the destination MAC address? If you set PC6, that's wrong. It is not going to be PC6. Why? We have a router here. We cannot send an ARP message. PC1 cannot ask for a MAC address of PC6. Okay, think again. What will be the destination MAC address? PC1 will use the router's one fast Ethernet 0 to MAC address, a default gateway. So because I cannot figure out what the MAC address of PC6 is, because it's in a different network, I will use my router's MAC address, default gateway. To summarize, when you think about an IP address, they will never change. It doesn't matter if I ask you, what is the source and destination IP address over here, over here, when this packet leaves router 1? It doesn't matter. Source and destination IP addresses will never change. There is an exception called NAT, Network Address Translation, but at this stage, whatever happens, source and destination IP addresses will never change. MAC addresses, on the other hand, in a local area network, we can ask for a MAC address directly. So source and MAC will be in a local area network. If I want to send a message to another network, I have no idea what the MAC address of PC6 is. I will use my default gateway and the MAC address of my router 1. Here is a bonus question. What will be the source and destination MAC address for a packet when it is about to leave our router? Again, PC1 is sending a message to PC6. This packet has just arrived at our router. Our router wants to send it down to PC6. What will be the source and destination MAC address? The source MAC address will be router 1. Routers will swap MAC addresses. So our router will say, well, I am the source MAC address now. And of course, the destination MAC address is PC6. We are in the same network. Please remember that a router can swap a MAC address if needed. Why? Because we are in a new network. I cannot really say, well, the source MAC address is PC1. Not really. We are in a new network now.